Today's makeup look is a deep blue liner pulled out into a little bit of a kitten eye paired with a dusty pink long wear lip. As usual, I'm using Max Paint Pot and this time I'm using Soft Ochre. You've probably heard me mention Painterly before. They're both very similar. This one is just a little bit lighter. And then I will pick up using a medium flat eyeshadow brush, NARS's eyeshadow in Ondine, and I'm just sweeping this all across the lid. This has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not over the top. And then in the crease, I am grabbing the shade Smoke from the Instant Look in a Palette 5 Minute Face on the Go Seductive Beauty Palette by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not exactly sure if this is still available at Nordstrom, but you can look on the Charlotte Tilbury website. Um, however, it's a really chocolatey rich brown with also a touch of shimmer, and I have loved wearing it in the crease. It gives such a great amount of definition. For eyeliner, I'm using MAC's Pro Longwear Eyeliner in Night Trail. This is a deep dark blue. It's really, really pretty on. It, it looks black in this video, but I assure you it looks more blue in real life. And I'm just doing a little bit of a kitten eye. Not a full on cat eye, because that's a little bit more dramatic than what I go for my makeup, but a kitten eye just is the tiniest flick right at the edge of your eyelid. I want lots of lashes always and specifically for this look so I'm going to use my first coat of mascara and then some lash fibers. I've got tutorials for this so I'll link it here if you want to go see this whole process but I'm just going to kind of show you the basics here. Um, and then for foundation I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. The Double Wear foundation is the fullest coverage. I, I like the light for just something a little bit softer. It's still very much full coverage but it doesn't feel quite as heavy and like I'm going to go on stage as Double Wear does. And I am wearing the shade uh, One. Uh, it says Intensity One. And this is just a foundation brush. Anything you've got should work. This is the kind of brush that you rub it in versus pressing it in like a stippling brush would. You can also use your fingers if you're a hand application kind of girl, but a foundation brush will give you a nicer finish. Under my eyes, I've got my favorite concealer to brighten and lighten. Then I'm filling in my brows. I'm going a little bit heavier on the brows than I usually do just to frame my face nicely and give them quite a bit of definition. You can always apply foundation or at least a little bit of concealer on your eyebrow before you use a pencil to make sure that whatever pencil you're using shows up a little bit darker. That's kind of my trick. Sort of like I use that eyeshadow primer on my lids, foundation or concealer right on top of your eyebrow, blend it in really well, will act like a eyeshadow primer or an eyebrow primer and make whatever you're using show up a little bit darker and also last longer. For tons of drama on the lashes, I'm finishing with a coat of Bobbi Brown's Eye Opening Mascara. This is serious drama mascara, in case you're wondering. And then for my lower lash line, I'm using Max Night Trail again. I'm just holding it a little bit lighter and not pressing down um, as strongly so I don't get too solid of a line that can make my eyes look a little droopy. And then I'm going to add a bit of contour under my cheekbones really lightly. You can see I'm not being super precise about it because I don't want to look too chiseled. Um, and then I'll go along my jawline and then up at the outside of my temples. For blush, I'm using NARS Impassioned. It's just the softest, dustiest pink, and since I'm going a little bit heavier with lipstick and went a little darker with my eyes, I wanted a light, neutral blush. For lipstick, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Art Stick. This has been such a fun find. This shade is Dusty Pink. It's a liner and lipstick in one, and this wears so well and lasts so long on the lips. So it's it's not full on matte. You can layer it and even um, put a bit of gloss over it if you want a bit of shine, but it also wears into sort of a matte color, but it doesn't fade. I could say so many great things about it. it 
It's been a favorite and I am certain I will wear it a ton this fall. So that's the final look. A little bit of a bolder eye for me uh, and a nice strong rosy lip. <laughs>